Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Hand. There are many different types of tools that have been used in the industries. In today's video, we will look at some of the amazing tools that rock the world. Before getting into the video, please make sure to click the subscribe button and bell icon. Let's dive in. Number 15, Beam Saws. A beam saw is a type of sawing machine that uses a straight cutting blade to make precise cuts in a variety of materials, such as wood, plastic, or metal. The blade is mounted on a beam that is guided by a series of rails, which allows it to make long straight cuts with a high degree of accuracy. Beam saws are commonly used in the woodworking and construction industries to cut lumber and other building materials to size. Some beam saws are designed to be portable, while others are stationary and may be used in conjunction with conveyor systems or other automated equipment. Number 14, NES-1A. This tool is designed to repair damaged threads in fasteners, such as bolts and screws. It works by cutting a new thread onto the damaged portion of the fastener, allowing it to be used again. Thread repair tools like the NES-1A are often used in the automotive, aerospace, and manufacturing industries to repair threads on components such as engine parts, gearboxes, and other machinery. They can be used to repair both external and internal threads and are available in a range of sizes to suit different thread pitches and diameters. Number 13, Gear Clamps. A gear clamp is a type of tool used to secure two objects together by applying pressure to the sides of the objects. It consists of a clamping mechanism with two jaws that can be tightened by turning a handle or lever. Gear clamps are commonly used in a variety of applications, including mechanical repairs, woodworking and metalworking. They can be used to hold objects in place while they are being worked on, or to hold objects together securely in a finished product. Number 12, Socket Straps. Socket straps, also known as socket organizers or socket trays, are tools used to store and organize sockets for use with handheld ratchets or other mechanical tools. They are typically made of a durable material, such as plastic or metal, and have a series of slots or holes that are sized to hold sockets of different sizes. Socket straps are used to keep sockets organized and easily accessible in a workshop or garage setting. They can be used to store both metric and standard size sockets and are often labeled with size markers markings to help users quickly identify the sockets they need. Number 11, Reed Cone Chamfer. Reed Cone Chamfer Tool is a type of tool used to chamfer the edges of pipes and tools. Chamfering is the process of beveling and rounding the edges of a pipe or tube to remove burrs or sharp edges. This is often done to prepare pipes or tubes for welding or to improve their appearance. The Reed Cone Chamfer Tool is designed to chamfer the ends of pipes or tubes quickly and accurately. It consists of a series of cones that are placed over the end of the pipe or tube and rotated to cut a beveled edge onto the material. Number 10, Chain Mortiser. A chain mortiser is a type of power tool used to create mortises, which are rectangular or square openings cut into wood or other materials. Mortises are used to join two pieces of wood together using a tenon, a projection on one piece of wood that fits into the mortise on the other piece. Chain mortisers are typically used to create mortises in thick or hardwood materials, where a traditional handheld mortising tool may not be practical. They work by using a chain with cutting teeth that is driven by an electric motor to cut the mortise. The chain is guided through the material by a series of guides and rails, which helps to ensure a precise and straight cut. Number 9. Rebar Cutter A rebar cutter is a tool used to cut steel reinforcing bars, also known as rebar. Rebar is a common material used in the construction industry to reinforce concrete structures such as foundations, walls, and columns. It is typically made of steel and has a ribbed surface to improve its bonding with the concrete. Rebar cutters are used to cut rebar to the desired length for the use in the construction project. They can be powered manually or by electricity and come in a range of sizes to suit different diameters of rebar. Some rebar cutters are designed for use in the field, while others are more suited for use in a workshop setting. Number 8. Pipe Flaring Drill A pipe flaring drill is a type of drill used to create a flare on the end of the pipe. A flare is a tapered or angled expansion of the end of the pipe that allows it to be joined to another pipe or fitting. Pipe flaring drills are used to create flares on pipes made of soft materials such as copper, aluminum, or brass. They work by using a specialized drill bit to create the flare on the end of the pipe. Pipe flaring drills are commonly used in the plumbing and automotive industries to create flared connections in pipes or tubes. Number 7. Metal Cutting Nozzle 
A metal cutting nozzle is a specialized nozzle used in the process of cutting metal with a jet of high pressure water. This process, known as water jet cutting, uses a jet of water that is pressurized to extremely high pressures, up to 60,000 pounds per square inch, to cut through metal and other materials. The metal cutter nozzle is an important component of a water jet cutting system as it determines the shape and size of the jet of water that is used to cut the material. The nozzle typically consists of a small pointed orifice that focuses the water jet into a narrow, precise stream. Number six, Safer Paver. Safer Paver, which is a tool or piece of equipment used to lay paving stones or other types of pavers. Pavers are flat stones or bricks that are used to create outdoor surfaces such as patios, walkways, or driveways. A safer paver tool may be used to help ensure the safe and efficient installation of pavers by providing a way to handle and place the pavers accurately and with minimal risk of injury. Number five, slacklining. Slacklining is a recreational activity that involves walking or balancing on a narrow, flexible line that is suspended between two anchor points. Slacklining tools refer to the equipment used to set up and participate in this activity. Some common slacklining tools include slackline webbing, anchor points, ratchets, or pulleys, slackline pads, and harnesses. In addition to these tools, slackliners may also use other equipment such as gloves or helmets for added safety. Number four, karambit knife. A karambit knife is a type of curved knife that originated in Indonesia. It is characterized by a curved blade and a handle that is designed to be held in reverse grip, with the blade protruding from the bottom of the fist. Karambits are often used as defensive weapons and are popular in martial arts and self-defense training. They are also used for utility purposes, such as cutting rope or other materials. The design of the karambit knife with its curved blade and ergonomic handle, allows for a wide range of cutting and slicing movements, making it a versatile tool for a variety of tasks. Number three, portable sawmills. A portable sawmill is a type of sawmill that is portable and can be used to various locations to saw logs into lumber. Portable sawmills are commonly used by small-scale sawyers, farmers, homesteaders, and hobbyists to process their own lumber for use in construction, furniture making, and other projects. Portable sawmills are typically smaller and less expensive than larger stationary sawmills and are designed to be easily transported to different locations. They can be powered by gasoline, diesel, or electric motors and may be equipped with a variety of features such as hydraulic, log handling, adjustable blade guides, and automatic blade lubrication. Portable sawmills are an economical and convenient way for individuals to process their own lumber for use in a variety of projects. Number two, ladder aid. A ladder aid is a device that is used to provide additional support and stability to a ladder. It is typically used when a ladder is placed on an uneven surface or when the user needs to reach a high, unstable location. Ladder aids come in a variety of forms, including ladder stands, ladder jacks, and ladder stabilizers. Ladder stands are used to support the ladder at the top, while ladder jacks are used to support the ladder at intermediate points along its length. Ladder stabilizers are used to keep the ladder from tilting or slipping. Number one, fastening guns. Fastening guns are commonly used in construction, carpentry, and other industries to quickly and efficiently fasten materials together. They can be powered by compressed air, electricity, or battery power, and are available in a range of sizes and styles to suit different applications. Pneumatic nail guns are the most common type and are powered by compressed air. They are fast and powerful, but require a compressor to operate. Electric nail guns are convenient because they do not require a compressor, but they are not as powerful as pneumatic nail guns. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Let us know in the comments that you subscribed and what you think of this video. We will reply to you personally. You can also give a thumbs up. Thanks for that.